what is good youtube it's your favorite senpai back with another ea college football 25 video as you can see we are in the countdown right now for the college football 25 gameplay deep dive we finally get to see what this game is actually going to look like we got the teaser trailer we got details we got a little bit of cap but we are finally going to see some actual footage of how this game is going to run there should be details about the gameplay specifically wise the skill system now it's not going to be the x factor system from madden but i have heard that the players will have mental and physical skills let me load on my volume a little bit just so you guys don't hear that in the background we're a minute out man i'm truly excited i want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and while you're here and if you're new here make sure to hit that like button hit the bell for my notifications subscribe man lock in this channel is truly growing we've had over a hundred subscribers in just the month of may so i want to thank you guys we reached our 500 goals, so we will be giving away a copy of EA College Football 25 for PS5 or Xbox Series X. If we hit 600 before the game release, which I expect us to currently sitting at 571, we will upgrade that to a deluxe version. I'm sorry for you guys on PC. As far as I know, the game will not come out on PC. Here we are, guys. 20 seconds away, man. I wonder if there's going to be like any VO to this or it's just going to be straight up reels with descriptions on the screen. A lot of people are real hyped in the chat, but I don't really want to see that. Let's go to our full screen mode and wait for the premiere. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, guys. The gameplay reveal that we've all been waiting for. The anticipation is mounting. All right, Kirk Hurst Street. All right, this looks nice. Oh, okay. We got the nice stutter step with the spin move. Okay, we got the option. Dude, this looks eerily similar to NCAA 14, how that ran. Campus IQ. Okay, wear and tear system. Player abilities, home field advantage, and unique playbooks. Oh my God, that hurdle with the tackle. That's beautiful. The new wear and tear system changes how you approach every snap. Wear and tear is a okay, you got wear and tear now, man. Guys can get progressive injuries. We talked about this yesterday. And diverse play calling to keep your players that ain't Tim Tebow. With wear and tear, every hit matters. Oh, yeah, With LSU in there, baby. The same impact. And a single hit, like a blow to a quarterback's throwing arm, can change everything wow we can now target players guys mason taylor injured quinn ewers start event damage and fatigue add up guys is critical to your team's success both in a single game and over the course of a season then ea sports college football this is nuts this is some real good looking mechanics oh the player abilities chip shot that's for kickers drop back disruptor jesus that's a lot of skills in contrast to the pros where superstar talent is generally sidestep improve fake outs on juke moves okay we got the meter that's a bad throw ball hog clutch kicker like breaking tackles downhill break tackles at max speed man this gameplay looks amazing field general pre-snap clarity at the line of scrimmage and staying calm under pressure i'm gonna dominate on this game stadium paul toughness oh lord i'm getting tongue tied stadium paul's toughness rank i remember that in the old ncaa games the visiting quarterback here i go there four verts so we can see the field more clearly and will be less prone to mistakes for this play a player can have up to eight abilities and they can up to eight abilities dot stand in the pocket sidestep balance workhorse man we're gonna come back and dissect some of this stuff nuss the nuss bus oh that should have been a completion from tiger stadium to happy valley yes sir home field advantage are there different skills for home field advantage or it's just the loudness right into your living room and with home field advantage, the host team has the upper hand. Of course. As the visiting team, you'll face various degrees of home field advantages impacting confidence and composure levels, on field performance, and more. Home field advantage will disorient players with lower composure levels more than it will for the level headed players. Decisions like audibles and hot routes will become more difficult because these stadiums will be rocking 
So it's more important that's than that's a great shot of Death Valley, bro. Guys, I'm not even saying too many words right now, but I'm just in awe. The screen looks amazing. Player and team ratings are not final. Okay. Oh, that go to Flex Bone, a Power Eye, Maryland Eye, Pistol. Okay, you can still go aggressive and conservative on things. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking at that Michigan ground game, that playbook. I'm gonna run the ball on y'all fools. With new user reverse handoffs, explore the new option game and other new trick plays. AM is not gonna do that to LSU. Let's just be real. College football 25's revamped passing mechanic. Ooh, that's a dot. Jalen Milro, fade. Uh oh, we got the secure catch, the aggressive catch, all that stuff in the game now. Man, they put a lot of time into this, man. Shout out to the guys and the developers at EA. LSU versus USC in Vegas, first game of the season. Nice. And call a number of new hot routes at the line. For more on gameplay and playbooks, check out the Campus Huddle blog. Subscribe Campus Huddle blog. Man, this is awesome that they got Kurt Herb Street to do this. News. To make it game day every day this season, pre -order and of course, pre order, man. Some of you guys won't have to do that, of course, if you win the giveaway. Man, that was a lot of information given right there. Okay, obviously, this video is ending, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it off right there. And let's go back and look at some of this, man. So we got like a few things to dissect. So I really like this play right here. I'll just put it on mute. So we're talking about player abilities, home field advantage, wear and tear. And look at this right here. Look at that hurdle animation, but you still get the tackle. The uniforms, everything looks real good. I think wear and tear is going to play a big part in this game. Because let's just use Madden, for example. You get someone like Tyreek Hill, and you can spam him the whole game, him and Jalen Waddle. You can put him on mesh routes, crossing routes, slants, and mostly go routes. And that player can get hit the whole game and nothing ever happens. Now, if you overutilize a player, they will eventually break down and can sustain a severe injury, which will completely change your game plan. And for those that like to play aggressive smash mouth defense, we talk about steel curtain over there at Pittsburgh, or like throwback Baltimore Ravens type stuff, or even the Bears, man, the Bears from back in the day, or the New Orleans Saints bounty gates, you can put it on the offense now and key on certain players and make sure those are big hits. You can get those guys out of the game. So now it's going to be important to have a multi-dimensional attacking offense in this game. This, this is great, and it's realistic. It's realistic, man. Look at that. Terry on Arnold crushing hit. So look at it right here. Injuries can range from slight... To high to severe risk of injury increased severe dude this is just great and i wonder if this is not only progressive over the game but over the season like when you get down to the the conference games and you're playing those tough games back to back to back to back each week kurt herbstreet even went as far as to say targeting a quarterback's throwing arm so the hits placed on the body if they're going to range if you hit them in the ankles it's going to be an injury in the leg it's not just some random injury like the game used to be you could tackle a guy in Madden or NCAA in the leg and then somehow, like, I don't know, he got a concussion. Just stuff like that. And that is possible, but you get where I'm saying. The target and location of the hit is going to play a big part in where they get that wear and tear. I like this. The option game is looking real smooth. Let's just take a look at this, man. We can just have, like, a couple of things. Let's just make a couple of inferences from this right here. Chip shot, that's a skill. That's obviously for kickers. They can make uh, good uh, angles on good field goals, whatever. Clear-headed, I'm guessing that's some type of calmness trait for quarterbacks. Coffin corner, that's going to be for punters, nailing the ball in the corner inside the 20. Cutter, have no idea what that could possibly be. That could be something for a running back. Uh, drop back disruptor, that's a guy that's pretty good on the pass rush, messing up the QB. Balance that could be another running back trait, kind of like Alvin Kamara. This player doesn't lose their footing. Drop back shield sounds like something that could be for offense alignment. Extender sounds like a quarterback that's real good with his feet extending the play. Grip breaker, um, possibly getting off the block or off the jam, ground and pound. Uh, probably a, a bruising running back like Derrick Henry. Hammer can be a hard hitter. Head first, um, intimidator, somebody that has this uh. This is a crazy presence, kind of like a Harold Perkins jackpot. 
that could be like the game jackpot. Maybe that's somebody that has like a good moss ability. We got Jammer for press cornerbacks. KO, that is a knockout hitter. That is a guy that's knocking helmets off in the game. Mobile resistance, not exactly too sure what that is. Maybe that's a quarterback that's accurate on the move. Off platform. Um, this can go either way. Possibly a quarterback once a good again that can throw off his back foot, or maybe a defensive lineman that's good at moving the quarterback off his pocket spot on time, possibly a QB with good accuracy. Option disruptor, a guy that knows how to play assignment football. And look at this, it goes on and on. Double dip, dot disruptor, cutter. Uh man, look at this. Press pro, play action shield, pass pro. What's that one? It said something, I don't know. It looked like it was like pancakes or something like that. Possibly that's for offensive linemen. I like that right there. That is a juke that Madden and NCAA have been missing for a while. They put in the Reggie Bush cut. Uh, just look at the blocking assignments. Look how these guys are reaching for their blocks. He's taking out the slot. He's reaching up to this backer. We got a hinge and a kickback right there. We got pressure on pressure. He's leading up to the middle linebacker. We got a seal. We got a kick out. And it's a nice outside zone running play. And look at the running lanes, guys. Look at this blocking AI. He's trying to get off the block, still blocking. He actually reaches the back or these guys are pursuing. But look right here. Look how this player is working up to the safety. Dude, they did a hell of a job with this. They did a hell of a job. Now he's off his block. He's still blocking the corner instead of just letting him go. And look at his sidestep juke. Oh my goodness. That is great. Let's check this out. Let's see what's going on in this play. We get some verts. Uh, this looks like it might be a smash play. Do the ball too early. Cornerback is in great position. Look at these guys getting off of blocks. And then it's a beautiful jump. He didn't collide with the player. He jumped it like he would in real life. And he's going to take it home for a pick six, man. The crowd, everything looks pretty dang good. I like the scoreboard. I don't have a problem with it. I like that broken tackle right there. Guys pursuing. Uh... Field general, quarterback picking out who, who the Mikey is, just reading different things and different coverages. Guys, it's safe to say that we have an amazing game on our hands. I'm not going to extend this video too long, but for you guys that were just mad, like, okay, we're not going to have high school games and you can't export the draft classes and there's no EA spin a college game day, just shut up because EA has put a lot of work into this game. It is a long time coming. I think most of the guys complaining are new heads, but the ones that actually played college football back in the day, we know how much this game means and how much EA is going to put into it to make this a classic product. I can assure you that this is going to overtake Madden. Madden is just a trash game. It's been reskinned. It's been the same game every year with a couple of new features. If you want actual skill, pageantry, in the true essence of football, and you know football, this is going to be the game for you. I promise you. You need to get college football. I'm going to be on there. Guys, check out this trailer for like more insights. Also, to check out my playlist and my cards because I have more videos giving you guys tips on this game coming up. Um, I'm truly excited about this. This looks to be an amazing game with the gameplay, the crowd, that splash little orange and white over there, the away crowd, the plays. Everything seems pretty good. I can't wait to get into the playbooks, the wear and tear system. EA, hell of a job. Phenomenal. I can't wait to get into this one. Man, it's your favorite senpai, guys. Until next time, I don't know what the next video is going to be, but... Just make sure to check this one out. And uh, until next time, man, make sure to like, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.